there, this is Simon Clue from Ada Technology and here we are at Broadcast Asia at the uh, Ada booth here. And what we've got set up is the Adalink Infinity system. So behind, hidden away that you can't see, we have some Adalink Infinity transmitters that are attached to some computers, high power computers that have got a DVI and USB connections going into them. They're then going into the Adlink Infinity transmitters, which are connected via a high-performance high IP switch, which in this case is an HP Procurve. Actually, it's a fairly regular HP Procurve Ethernet switch. And that's connected up to uh, some receivers that are placed behind these monitors. And into the receivers, we plug our monitors and our keyboards and our mice. And this enables us to show and demonstrate the sort of video quality and uh, interaction abilities that we have with the Adlink Infinity. So you can see here that I can very easily sort of stop and start the video and I'm working in absolute real time. This is the manager system that enables us to connect all of this system together. But what I want to show you through here are just a couple of new features that we've uh, introduced to the system. One of which is that now I can bring the menu up using just the mouse. Uh, key. So I just can bring up the on-screen display here using the mouse. And what I want to do is I can now actually connect to what we call a remote on-screen display. The remote on-screen display means that I can connect to some receivers that are somewhere other than, than this particular computer. Now in this case the receiver I'm going to connect to is on the video wall that you can see behind me or in, to my left here. Now I can actually change the connection on the video wall to something else from here. So you see I've just done that at the flick of the switch here. And I can change it to another channel, to another channel here. Now there's a couple of things to bear in mind here is that I'm doing this over an IP network. So this video wall could essentially be in another completely different part of the building on the other end of a network. Second thing to notice is that the switch time that I'm going to is actually super fast, super quick. We're now talking, we've got the switch time down to absolute milliseconds. Now because we are on an IP network, we have no distance limitation. Because I'm on an IP network, I can use regular standard network infrastructure to put my um, content around wherever I particularly want to. So that's the remote on-screen display part of the um, demonstration that we have. The other pretty cool thing that we have here are some presets that I can use from hotkeys. So like I was just changing that whole video wall just using the mouse, I've also assigned some hotkeys here. So I can actually just change now the whole system all along here to show the same video out from one transmitter. And then I can pop it back again just using another set of hotkeys and here we go, I've just changed all of the system again back to its default. So those are the two little things that I just wanted to run you through here at Broadcast Asia. First is the remote on screen display brought up with uh, my mouse, making life very, very easy to switch and control things from another part of the network. And the other one is hotkey switching using presets, enabling me to affect any number of, any number of uh, computer monitors and switches with one just simple key movement. So thanks for stopping by, thanks for looking in.